Hello, my fellow card crafters. Welcome. Well, today I get to show you the new card kit of the month for May from Spellbinders. This kit is called Beach Day, and it's all about summer card crafting. I'm going to quickly show you what's included. Let's start out with the example page. It tells you what's inside the kit and shows you how to use the dies. Here is your pack of die cut shapes, and I'll pull these out of the packaging in just a minute. You always get 10 card bases and 10 envelopes. And then here is your stamp set and the dies. And I'll open the dies here in just a minute as well. You always get double sided adhesive and foam squares. This time you get some beautiful gemstones. I love it when they include these. These are some chipboard stickers and it's double sided. You also get some really pretty dimensional stickers. These are all seashells. And then here is the pack of patterned paper. I'm going to open this up and show you what these look like. Let's start at the back. I'm just going to quickly flip through them. Look at these cute seagulls. This is one of my favorite patterns. You get a lot of flowers. And a lot of them have gold detailing on them. It's single sided, but then you get two of each pattern. I really enjoyed working with these soft, kind of washed out, summery looking patterns. This one is a really pretty text block pattern with gold foiling. And a bunch of seashells. I love that one. Then we're back to the beginning again. For the cardstock, you get a really nice thick piece of craft cardstock. This time you get a double sided silver metallic cardstock, and then you get kind of a dark cream and a light cream, a light pink and a dark pink, a pretty blue, and then two shades of green. Let me put these aside, and I want to show you the really fun dyes that you get in this kit. So you get an anchor and a chain. I'll flip all of these over so you can see what they look like. You also get some really beautiful florals, and these are layering die cuts. I thought maybe some of them would coordinate with the stamp set, because they do that sometimes, but it's kind of a standalone stamp set this time. So let me clean off my desk. And I want to show you the die cut shapes now. You get two of each. Let me kind of pull these out of the packaging. And then I am going to speed this up because there are a lot of die cut shapes. It would take a long time if I were to go any slower. <laughs> you get a lot of die cut shapes. When I work with one of these kits, I like to place all of the die cut shapes on a poster board so that I can see all of them. I used to keep them in the box, but I, I get tired of kind of pushing them around the box to find what I need. I like to be able to see all of them. So let's get into the first card, and I went straight for the anchor and the chain, and I cut it out with some of the silver cardstock. I also cut down several pieces of pattern paper. We're going to make a cute little underwater scene. So this beige piece is going to be the sand under the sea, and I'm going to cut it out with a Spillbinders die. This was from their Glimmer card kit of the month from, from last month. And then here's our little sand hill under the ocean. I want to add a little more color to it, so I'm using some tattered rose, and I'm just going to add a little bit of color on the edge of the hill. And I really like the tattered rose for underwater scenes. It's kind of a beigey pink, and it's just pretty. So I'll distress the side of that a little bit. And then the paper I chose for the water is this really pretty tile looking piece. And I'm going to add some salty ocean distress oxide to that. This adds some really pretty color to my scene. 
I'll add just a little bit more of the salty ocean. I'm not going to go up the whole piece of the pattern paper. Now let's start assembling this card. I'm using this cream colored cardstock. I'll put this down on my card base. Got to wipe the Distress Oxide ink off my mat so it doesn't transfer onto my white card. So I left a little bit of a white border on this. I'm also going to use a piece of the silver cardstock as another mat. I'll center this next. And then my ocean piece that represents the water will go next. I have a lot of mats on this card. Next, I can add my sand hill. And I did pop it up with some foam squares. That way my anchor can kind of look like it's sunken into the sand. I'll put it a little bit behind the sand hill. I went ahead and added some foam strips behind my anchor. This will add some fun dimension to this card. And I'm just going to tuck it a little bit under the sand hill. Don't you just love that shine? It's so much fun. And now for the chain. And this die cut also makes up really cute frames. But I'm going to use it as a chain in this for this card. So I'll tuck this behind the anchor. And then I can just snip off the overhang. I like to open the cards when I do that, just to get a clear look. I don't cut into the card base. And then I had to add some of these pretty shells from the sticker pack. And these have foam squares behind them, so they are dimensional. And I'm just going to add a few here and there. I love the shimmer on these shells. They're so pretty. And I was able to peel them back up and move them around a little bit till I decided where I wanted them to be. The sentiment comes from the die cut shapes. And this was so little I had a hard time picking it up. So I'm going to get my tweezers to pick this up. And this just says summer life. This will make kind of a non-occasion card that you can send out in the summer. Then of course I had to add a few of the gemstones. And here is a close-up look. There is a fish silhouette stamp in this kit and I think if I were to do this again I would stamp that out a few times. Okay card number two I'm going for more of the dies. And I wanted to put together some of these flowers, and they were so fun to layer up. I'm going to put this piece of pattern paper at the top of the card base. And then the cute check pattern at the bottom. I cut both of these patterns down to five and a half by four and a quarter, and then I just sliced them down the side. So I could make up two of these cards if I wanted to. And then over the seam, I'm going to use another piece of the silver cardstock. I'll add a little bit of dot liner to this. It provides some nice shine on this card. I'll put it right over the seam. Now I can flip it over and cut off the overhang. I recently purchased some new scissors from uh, the Fun Stampers Journey. I like the lime color, and these are just really heavy-duty scissors. <laughs> they're a lot different from my old ones. But they're very sharp and nice. I created a frame using my hemstitch rectangle dies, and I went ahead and popped it up with some foam strips. And then I'll center this on my card panel. And then I thought I was going to use a lot more flowers than I did. 
And I pre-made up a bunch of these layered flowers. And I just put them on the packaging because I do have a foam dot behind them. But I'm going to put my greenery down first. But I wanted to show you how I layered up this palm leaf and you can use different colors but I chose just to use all the same cardstock for this and it gives it some really fun dimension as well. I'm putting down the first layer and then you have this little spine layer looks like a vein. I'll add a little strip of glue and add this vein. For my sentiment I'm going to turn this into a birthday card. So this is going to say it's your birthday and then I'm stamping this out with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I can stamp out one of the smaller sentiment strips which says have a wonderful day. And I'll stamp this out at the bottom of my cardstock. And then I can just cut this out into a strip. The First sentiment, I do cut around it with my scissors. I used my smaller cutter bee scissors to cut around this sentiment. Now let's start putting down the greenery. I love these ferns, they're so pretty. So these I'm just going to adhere down flat. And then my flowers are propped up with some foam. I thought I was going to use a lot more of these flowers, but I'll just save the rest for another card. But I like the different sizes. There's a larger one and a small one, and they all have their layering pieces to go with them. Now for this cute palm, I'll just tuck that under the two flowers. Now for the sentiment, and I'm going to use just some liquid glue on this and adhere it to the bottom of the frame. And this gets away from me. I just can't keep this in my hands, <laughs> getting glue all over my card. And then the sentiment strip, I'm going to slant the end of this with my scissors. And then use more liquid adhesive on this. And I'll just tuck this under the birthday sentiment and have it go off the frame. I added a few more gemstones to this panel and that's all there is to this card. Here's a close-up look. The color palette is so soft and pretty for this kit. Card number three is probably my favorite of the set. I'm going to create a background using this Sunray stencil from Fun Stamper's Journey. It's called Sunny Day Stencil. I don't use pixie spray, I just prefer taping it to the back of my cardstock. Seems just as easy for me, then I don't have any extra cleanup to do, or I don't need to take it outside to spray it. Then I'll use some squeezed lemonade and I'll speed this up because I did take my time on this. So I'm kind of holding the stencil rays in place so they don't shift. And then to add a little touch of a darker yellow, I come in with some wild honey. And I'm just adding that around the sun and up the rays a little bit. Now I can peel off the stencil and it turned out really cute. I do end up cutting this panel down, but perfect for your summer card crafting. I cut out a circle and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm adding a little bit of squeezed lemonade. I was trying to find a sticky note to hold it so that I wouldn't get my fingerprints in it, but I couldn't find my sticky notes. They have a way of disappearing around here. And then I'll come in with my wild honey just to add a little darkness to one edge of this. 
this is what I'm going to create my scene on. When I saw the seagull die cut shape in the pack, I knew I had to use it. It was so adorable. So that's going to be the theme of this card, this cute little seagull. I'm just trying to build up the darkness a little bit on this side. This is a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock, and sometimes it seems like I'm just pushing the color around because there is a coating on this. So I kind of struggle building up a dark color on this cardstock. Even though it is great, I use it a lot for my ink blending. So let's attach this cute seagull pattern paper down first onto the card base. And I did cut down the sun ray piece, and that will go next. Next, we'll put down the circle, and I am using some foam tape behind this. We'll center this at the bottom of the sun ray panel. And then of this cute little umbrella will go next, and I did pop that up so it matches the height of the circle. The handle to the umbrella, I'm just going to put a little dab of glue and then press it down in place while it dries. The seagull I popped up with foam adhesive as well. And then I'll use this cute little beach ball die cut shape next. So cute. The sentiment I popped up and it says, hello sunshine, and I'm just going to put that kind of wonky off of the side of the sun ray panel. And then I wanted to add a little bit of beach sand. This, this will help to kind of ground the bird. And I'm just putting little dots and bigger dots just with the pressure of my marker. It's easy to do. I'm just putting them here and there. This adds just a fun little touch of detail. I'm also adding a rosy cheek on the seagull. And then I decide to come in with some neutral grays and add just a touch of shading to the seagull. I'm going to put this under his belly. These little touches just make a big difference, I think. I'm going to come in with an even lighter gray and thicken this shadow a little bit bring it up to his neck. You could just keep adding to these cards. It's so much fun. I added some gemstones, and here is the final card. This is definitely one of my favorites. I love that little seagull. I'm going to have to make up another card like this. On my next card, I cut out a tag just with my scissors with this pretty piece of pattern paper that looks like watercolors. Looks like sand and ocean to me. And I stamped out the sentiment that says, wishing you warm days and sunny skies. I have a teeny tiny hole punch. I couldn't find my regular sized one, <laughs> but that's gonna have to work. And I'll thread it with some blue and white baker's twine. This was easier to do than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be difficult getting it through that small hole. I'm just adding some length to it so that I can tie a bow at the top here in just a minute. Let me trim it off from the spool. And I'll just thread the ends into the knot. I'm going to add a piece of the cream, the lighter cream cardstock, onto the card base first. This will completely cover the card base. I just used my bone folder to smooth one of the sides. I think I need a new blade on my paper trimmer. It kind of peels up the sides a little bit. Next, I'm using the pretty text block pattern paper. It has all of these fun summer sayings on it, like swim and play, relax, happy seashore. <laughs> I added some very thin foam tape to the back of my tag. And I'm going to add this to the front of the card on an angle. This card was very simple to do because I'm just going to reach for the stickers again, as you see there to the right. But first, let's tie a bow. 
I do put a micro dot behind the knot just so it stays in place. And then I can trim the ends. Now I'm going for some of the smaller seashells on this tag. I really love these shimmery sea star ones. I end up using two of those on this tag. But I'm just trying to use different colors and kind of piecing them together on this tag. These add some more dimension to the card because as I said, they do have little foam dots behind them, but they're very low profile like the foam I used behind the tag. But they look so pretty on that piece of pattern paper with the sand looking area and the water. This was a really fun card to put together as well. The last thing I'm going to do is to add some of the garnet gemstones around this card. This adds a little more shine, and that's all there is to card number four. I wanted to create 10 cards with this kit like I usually do, but I just ran out of time this month. So today I'm creating five, and card number five is going to be a really fun but easy card. I'm going to stamp all of the seashells from the stamp set across this card. First on this piece of blue and white striped pattern paper. I'm, while I'm at it, I'm going to stamp out the sentiment that says, relax, you've earned it. Now I love that sentiment. I don't think I've ever created a card using that sentiment, so it's fun for me. <laughs> I will be cutting this out with an oval die, so I'm just trying to look at my placement. And then I'll pick up all of these stamps with the door of my mini Misty. I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. First I'll put my anti-static powder down, and then I can ink it up. This ink stays wet long enough to pour over the embossing powder. So I do stamp this out several times just to get a nice coated line. But I only show once. And then I can pour over my clear embossing powder. I'm just using a piece of scrap paper to catch the embossing powder. I'm going to put this panel aside to dry because we're going to do the same thing with a piece of the craft card stock from the kit. And these are both cut down to five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'll pour over more of the clear embossing powder. Now that I have both panels ready to go, and I accidentally put my ink pad over the blue panel, so I had to pour over more embossing powder. But I'm going to melt the embossing powder. I allowed it to heat up for a good minute. And then I'm just slowly melting the embossing powder. I don't let it stay on the paper for too long. This will help prevent warpage. And now for the craft cardstock panel. I love using colored pencils on craft cardstock, and this is kind of where this is headed. So I'm going to cut my oval out just of this panel. And then I'm going to use some fun foam behind this panel. I went ahead and colored in the seashells off camera, just very simply didn't do any shading with some colored pencils. I'm going to soften the bottom edges with my half inch corner chomper. And then I also chomp the edges of the card base, just the bottom edges. And then I decide to come in and color the seashells on the blue pattern paper as well, just to add a little more color. And then I can adhere this craft cardstock panel down onto the card base. I did go ahead and stamp a few more of the seashells to just to fill it in a little bit more. I'm going to use some very soft pink and white baker's twine and add a bow at the top left of this card. 
So as you see, I also colored in the seashells on the pattern paper off camera. And then I can just tie my bow. And I do add another micro dot behind that. And this is just going to be a fun card to send out this summer. I love sending out summer themed cards. I don't even need an occasion. I just like to send out cards to say happy summer <laughs> to people because I love it so much. Summer is definitely my favorite season. I thought I should add some sparkle to these seashells. So I pulled out my Wink of Stella clear glitter pen and I'm liberally dousing these seashells with this. When I hold it up in the light, you'll be able to see all of the sparkle. And then I did add a few blue gemstones around this panel as well. I really love this over the edge stamping technique. It's really fun to do. And here is a close up look. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching these cards come together and I hope you were inspired. I'll have all of the links to the products I use listed below as well as over at my blog. Thanks for spending some of your time with me today. And I hope you get some time to sit down and craft today, too. Take care, everyone. Bye.